you would care that much about me. Let me tell you about my Jesus. praise give you all the glory we thank you for being so good so kind we exalt you this morning we lift you up lord bless your people this morning and we just give you all the praise in jesus name amen, amen. amen. all right i want to talk to the army of the lord this morning you got any soldiers out there yeah. right, veterans day tomorrow so army of the lord here we go tells you who you are. No. Who are you? It's who he says I am. We serve the God of the Bible, not the God of the culture. Amen. I am who you say I am.
the child of God. All right. All right. Got these all mixed up. Yeah. I come. I came alive. Amen.
Question for you this morning. Will you be poured out as wine upon the altar to God? Will you be broken as bread to feed the hungry? Will you be so one with him that he may do just as he wills to make you light and life and love? His word fulfilled. you to bless your people this morning lord teach us to rise up lord and be the light be all that you would have us to be our world is in need we just ask for your blessings and your help but we just give you ask you to praise and bless your people this morning and we give you all the praise in jesus name amen, amen. you may be seated a lot going on today so we're glad to have you with us <coughs> Get all these papers straightened out here. I'll be okay. All right. All right. We'd like to make some announcements. One is is that we're gonna have a little shindig after church, and uh, we are gonna honor one of our beautiful people here and their whole family. And Melanie, come here to me if you would. Little Melanie turned 22 today. And so Ivan and her family, were they all going to take off to want the whole family to come up? Oh, they're going to play pretty soon. You guys got to come down here for a minute. They're all hooked up to play for the offering. But that's all right. We're going to pray for her first. Okay. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Now, all the rest of you that are uh, had a birthday this month, uh, Michael, stand up. I know yours. So, anybody else? Birthday this month? Stand up. Oh, Lonnie, all right. All right, well, you can come on up if you want to. She'll share her cake with you. You'd had a birthday too? Oh, yeah. You're my grandbaby, yeah. All right. She come to church with this cake. <laughs> All right, Harry too. A lot of birthday. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. May you feel peace. 
Jesus' love every day of the year. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. And the best year you ever had. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. May you feel Jesus' love every day of the year. Oh, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. And the best year you ever that we have a Larry's first meeting and Bible study tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You're welcome to come to that. Wednesday night Bible study, of course, for the guys from Victory Outreach and River's Edge and whoever else wants to show up. So we have as many as 67 here on Wednesday night. Glad to have you here and just have a great time in the Lord. Amen? Amen. And many of you following church today, of course, we're going to have a little celebration. We're all going to eat Melanie's cake. Yeah. And have a good time, all right? So we'll just have a good time. And of course, in just a couple of weeks is Thanksgiving. 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 Oh, I need more energy than that. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> all right, so we have a lot of good times. A lot of things happening. Guys, would you like to take the offering at this time? A couple of big, strong men that can take a load, okay?
have a special. Some of you don't know what goes on Wednesday night, but the guys that are here, they come, anybody that can participate, we have what they call the Eagle's Nest. And they memorize scriptures, and then they tell us what the scripture means to them. And then after so many weeks, we give out certificates, we give prizes to first, second, third prize, and all the guys did. But we had a surprise this last time. We had a young person come and memorize scripture. She wasn't number one, but she's number one to me. And she gets a certificate, so I'm gonna ask London if she would come forward. She came in front of all these guys and she challenged them. She actually challenged them. She put in a big old scripture. Then she challenged them to match her. So we just had a great time. And so we just get proud of her. And she gets the certificate. They sit down and behave now. Pray with me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Of course, I can't forget there is a raffle in the back too. We've been talking about the cake and all that, but there is a raffle back there also. And we want a special prayer again for a friend of Dixie's grandson. Her girlfriend passed away last week. Just had a whole lot of that lately. So stand with me as we go to the Lord in prayer. We remember the the Height family also, yes. and uh, yeah. continue to remember them and wait up here on the hill. Okay, Could just a lot going. My mom? I'm sorry. Could you remember my? Oh mother? yeah, it's your mother. Uh huh. She's in the hospital. She had a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. She's home now. She's home now. Good. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, again, we just love you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for being so good and so kind. So wonderful, Lord. We don't know the circumstances of this young person's death. Lord, it doesn't matter. You know everything. We just ask you to reach out to the family and to all the families of the Hit, the Height family, Lord. Minister to each and every one of them. Draw them with joy to the wells of your salvation. Just minister to each and every one. Bless the way that they're on the hill also, Lord. Be with him. And with Denise, Lord, we just ask for your strength and for your guidance. And for our country, we ask you to minister. And for all the other churches in town, Lord, we ask you to minister to them. May your Holy Spirit flow freely through them this morning. And we just give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. She's going through therapy. The Lord is good. Amen. Amen. Well, tomorrow's Veterans Day, yes. and I'm a pre little uh, prejudiced towards the veterans because I are one. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we're going to honor the veterans this morning. So anybody in the Army or was in the Army, stand up besides me. I was in the Army, so I'll represent Thank the Army. Thank you, Pastor. Ah. Oh, all right. Joseph, Michael, and I, okay? All right. Uh, go ahead and keep standing up, Michael. We're going to stand up. All right. How about Navy? Come on, Harry. A couple of Navy boys. All right. Very good. All right. We'll even include the Air Force. Anybody in the Air Force? All right. Air Force also. Navy and Air Force. Anybody else? All right. How about Coast Guard? How about Marines? Any jarheads in here? Leathernecks? Jarheads? Leathernecks? All right. Coast Guard? All right. How about uh, first responders? Yeah, I think they ought to be honored too. Amen. Or police departments, fire department. Uh, amen. I'm sorry. COP. COP. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just praise all of these. Let's give a prayer for all of these. Lord, we thank you for those who are willing to answer the call and to minister to us, and it helps keep us all free. Do what they have to do, Lord. We just thank you for the dedication. We just give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. So I'd like to honor the veterans, but there's some other veterans I'd like to honor this morning. The veterans of the cross. Do we have any Christians in here? Yeah. I said, do we have any Christians in here? Yeah. I'm looking for veterans of the army of God. 
Yeah, amen. That's what we're looking for. Wow. A call to service. The army of God. Also called sometimes one of the new songs I really love. Yes, children, you may escape. I'm sorry. I was going to keep you locked up today, I guess. I don't know. Too much going on. All right. Give those children a hand while they're passing. <laughs> Want to blow the trumpet a little bit this morning? Called to service the army of God. Sometimes one of my favorite, new favorite songs, the army of love. The need is great because there is perversion. Perversion definition is distortion of the truth. Anybody heard a lie lately? <laughs> Anybody watch TV lately? So you've probably had your ears full. How about hatred? Extreme dislike or disgust? How about fornication? Oh, there's one we don't like about. Sexual sins that violate God's law. You think the world needs some help? Yes. Idolatry. Anything that's put before God. Selfish ambition. Personal gain at the expense of others. Jealousy. Resentment of somebody else's success. Or peace, even. Wow. Murderers. Lawlessness, heresies. Any of that going around? Yes. There are hearts that are hurting, people in trouble, all kinds <clears throat> of problems. Jesus said, Look up, the fields are white unto harvest. And our prayer is, God, open our eyes that we may see the need and know that. We have the answer. His name is Jesus. I said his name is Jesus. We are the army of God. Sometimes called the army of love. We have a message of love. We have a message of healing. We have a message of forgiveness. We have a message of restoration. We have a message of hope. We have a message of light. We have a message of new life in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. A message of peace and rest. You think anybody's looking for that? Yeah. Looking for it in all the wrong places sometimes. Yes, the world has problems. But we have the answer. Because we are a world changing. This is who you are, army of God. And I love the lyrics of this song. You are a world-changing, difference-making, kingdom-building, soul-shaking people of God. I said, that's who you are. You are a what? A world-changing, difference-making, kingdom-building, soul-shaking people of God. Wow. Play the song. says, so you have the lyrics in your bulletin. So why don't you stand with me? And if you want to march and shout around a little bit, that's fine too. You can go ahead and do that. The word will be on the screen and you'll find me your book. So many hearts are hurting. So many people in need. So many lost and lonely Lord give us eyes to see We've got a message of healing For those who've given up We're taking hope to the hopeless
in front of me, so say it with me. We are, we are. a world-changing, world difference-making, difference kingdom-building, kingdom soul-shaking, soul people, people of God. We are a light shining, shining. death-defying, death -defying. gospel-talking, gospel -talking. testifying, testifying. Army, of God. army of God. That's who you are. The world may call you something else. They call you a fanatic. They call you old-fashioned. But I am who he says I am. I am the army of God. And it's up to us to shine and bring the truth to this place of darkness, this world. That's our job. Amen? You may be seated. Give yourselves a hand. How many want to re-sign up in the army of God? How many want to extend your tour of duty? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. We are on a mission with God and for God. And it's a battle. Our commander-in-chief is the God of the Bible. Church, get this in your head. Both here and out there, understand your God, your chief, your commander-in-chief is the God of the Bible, not the God of the culture. That's right. Amen. 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 The culture would tell you that you're twisted, you're old-fashioned, you're a bigot, you're this, you're that. They'll call you any sorts of names. Because oh, yeah. you dare to follow Scripture instead of their nonsense. Your commander-in-chief is a God of the Bible, Damn. not the God of the culture. Amen to that. Everybody say amen. amen. Even if you don't believe it, say amen. amen. Uh, we're on a mission with God and for God. Amen. And we've got a job to do. Some would say it's simple, just shine. But it's more than just shine. You got to live it. You can't just talk it. You got to walk it. Jesus said, and you know the scripture, Matthew 28, 18, he said that Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority. Everybody say all authority. All authority. Who has the authority? We do. The culture? No. The world? No. The politicians? No. Who has the authority? No. God does. God has all authority. And he said, in my name, under my authority, in my name, in my power, go ye into all the world and shine. Preach the gospel to every. Isn't that what it says? Yeah. And he spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. That's a lot of authority. Go therefore and make all disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them, teaching them, so that's more than just converting them, that's more than just evangelizing and telling them about Jesus, it's actually taking on the duty of teaching them. That's why we have Bibles, 
classes on Sunday morning. That's why we have Bible study on Wednesday night. Because we're trying to teach people. That's why the ladies have a Bible study. To teach people. Teach people what teach people the word. The word of God. That is our blueprint for life. Not what they tell us on that crazy screen that we stare at all the time. God's instruction manual is the Bible. Wow. It's so much more. Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded to you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the earth. Age. Amen. 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 Mark 16, 15 says, And he said to them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Paul now talking, him and Barnabas, out preaching, and he's talking to the Gentiles, the Samaritans, in Acts 13, 47. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have set you as a, this is who we are. God is telling the people of God. God is telling his church. And God has sent you as a light to the Gentiles. We are as a light to the world. Matthew 5. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your what? Good works. Your good works that they may what? Glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Wow. I have set you as a light to the Gentiles that you should be for salvation to the ends of the earth. We're to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. And in Acts chapter 1 it says we start right at home. In Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the other most parts of the earth. Wow. Now when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And many, as had been appointed to eternal life, believed. And the word of the Lord <coughs> was being spread throughout all the regions. That's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to get bored. We're not supposed to get tired. We're not supposed to be shy about it. We're supposed to be the light of the world. Both live it, talk it, and walk it. Spread the flame. Wow. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ah. You're not only called, but God wouldn't call you without arming you. He wouldn't call you without preparing you. How many belong to the army of God? Amen. Who lives within you then? Jesus. Who lives within you? Holy Jesus, Spirit. Holy Spirit. How much authority did he say he had when he told the disciples to go? Oh. All authority where? In heaven and on earth. So we don't care what the culture tells us. We stay focused on what God has told us. And his orders to us are that we are to go into all the world and share the message of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. You are armed and dangerous. Know ye not that ye are the temple? 1 Corinthians 16, you are the temple of what? The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Which means what? You have the very deity of Jehovah God inside you. Amen. I said you have the very nature of God inside you. Amen. You have the power of Jehovah God inside you. You are a soldier of the cross. You are a soldier of the army of who? God. God. We don't serve a wimp. All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Wow. You are. You are armed and dangerous. Danger to the sinner, danger to the devil, danger to the demons. That's why one reason I love talking to the guys on Wednesday night. These guys that are going through rehab, how dangerous are they 
to the sinful culture. You don't think the devil doesn't fight and try to defeat, defeat each and every one of them? Why? Because they go back out there filled with scripture. They go back out there filled with the Holy Spirit and go back. And what are they? They're a powerhouse for God. What an influence. What a mighty influence. for And you can be also. They take their experiences and they share with the world, look what love has done. What has love done for you? What has God done for you? Share it with somebody. What has love done for you? What has the love of God done for you? Share it with somebody. But ye shall, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Ye shall be what? Ye shall have what? Jesus said, Behold, I send to the door and if any man will, I'll come into him and sup with him and be with him and he with me or commune with him and he'll commune with me. How does he come into your heart? Does a man Jesus come into your heart? The Holy Spirit, Christ comes into your heart. When you accept Christ, you have the Holy Spirit. Now, don't get all excited. I'm Pentecostal, too. <clears throat> and there I know there's experiences with the Holy Spirit. Because I've had some. And I thank God for that. But you Christians need to understand you have the power of God within you. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now. Now, now, you have the power. In the cartoon, they raise that little torch up, and the guy says, I have the power. He's got nothing. I have the power. His name is Jesus. Come on, everybody should raise your hand and say, I have. Anybody that's got the light, say, I have the power. I belong to the army of God. Wow. Micah 3.8 says this, but truly I am full of power. Oh, I love this. <laughs> but truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. Every Christian say, I am full of power. By the Spirit of the Lord. You have been armed by God Almighty Amen. through His love to do what He's asked you to do. You have the power to fulfill the mission. We just need to get over ourselves and do it. Yeah. Put your pride aside. Wow. I truly am full of the power of the Spirit of the Lord and of justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sin. Wow. Zechariah 4, 6 says, So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Jezebel, not by might, nor by power, but by my... Spirit. What? Spirit. Spirit, says the Lord of hosts. <coughs> wow. Not by might, nor by power, but by my... Spirit. Spirit. Who lives within you? Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. Everybody say, I am. I am. Armed. Armed. And dangerous. And dangerous. <laughs> locked and loaded. <laughs> I'm locked and loaded. I like that. Ready on the firing line. I've been there. Ready on the right. Ready on the left. Commence fire. Wow. Zechariah 4, 6. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Jezebel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. 
Luke 10, 19 says, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents or scorpions. Everybody said, Over all the demons. Oh, you know what drives me crazy? Is <clears throat> Christians that come to me and say, Oh, the devil's just been after me all week. <laughs> well, turn around and slap him in the face. <laughs> Kick his butt. Oh, the devil's been after me all why give the devil any praise? He's just a punk. <laughs> Who has the authority and power? <laughs> All authority. All authority. And in my name, he's got no power over you. Oh, it drives me crazy. Well, I don't know. I think I think that one might be demon possessed. Well, then deliver him. <laughs> Come on! Oh, and I'll go get the pastor. Why? You got as much Holy Spirit as he does. Use it. You have a weapon. You're locked and loaded. Take it off for safety and fire that thing. Man! At a home crank. Well, I'm retired, Lord. <laughs> How many of you know in the service of the kingdom there is no retirement? Not till you go home. Exactly. <laughs> Even then, all you're doing is rejoicing. <laughs> you're just partying then, you're celebrating then. Wow. <clears throat> You remember then. Remember when the devil had old so and so down, and a couple of us went to them and laid hands on them and delivered them. How many's ever had an experience like that? Why not? You have the power. Know who you are in Christ Jesus. You are a soldier of the cross. Amen. You belong to the army of the Lord God Amen. Almighty. And he has empowered you with his authority. Amen. Giving you a job to do, a mission to accomplish for his glory. Amen. And for the salvation of your loved ones and your friends. Wow. Time to go to work. God has equipped you. All we hear, it's a very talented young man up here, along with the whole family, and other folks that really have been gifted. Every member of the army of God yes. has been gifted. Yes. God has given you the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. God has given you the helmet of salvation. God has given you the shield of faith. God has given you the sword of the Spirit. And the strength. And the strength. That's the power within you. He's given you the power to wield it. All you got to do is pick it up and use it. It's interesting to me, it says in Ephesians 6, of course, we're very familiar with finding my brother and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. How many think the devil's gone wild in the world today? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gone crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times the church is just retracted or have gone silent. Because, oh, don't call us names. Oh, oh, poor you. <laughs> they haven't put you on a tree yet. They haven't crucified you yet. Right. Oh, but they're liable not to think good of me. They're liable to uh, talk about me. Well, thank God they're talking about you. For you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. How many of you know what's going on in the world not, is not about flesh and blood? It's about the devil. It's about demons. It's a spiritual warfare. 
You handle the spiritual warfare and a lot of this other nonsense will go away. Amen. But we don't handle, we don't deal with the cause. We don't deal with the problem. We deal with the results of it. Wow. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, of this age, of the culture. Yeah. Well, the culture says this. We accept this. We accept that. What's your Bible say? Right. What's your Bible say? What's your Bible say? Oh, I get so tired of hearing all this nonsense. What's your Bible say? What's your instruction manual tell you to do? Pick up your well, I just don't know what happens. Well, you don't read the manual. You don't know how to use your equipment. You don't know what, how to get the safety off. You don't know how to load your weapon. What could have the rifle if you don't know how to load it? <laughs> you don't know how to fire it. Study to show thyself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against evil, against the devil, against principalities, wow. against powers against the rulers of the darkness. But we are the army of the Lord and we push against the darkness. Because we have who in our hearts? Holy Spirit or Jesus and he is the light of the world. And what happens when the light comes into darkness? It dispels the darkness. You have the power to dispel the darkness. Just turn on your light. Let your light shine. Let your, Let shine, your Jesus, light shine. shine that men go. may see your good works, that they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. 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 Wow. Wow. But the weapons don't do any good. God's given them to you. You've gone to the quartermaster, and he's given you everything you need. What size are you, young man? <laughs> Oh, you look like a 44 to me. There you go. I don't care if it fits or not. You got it. These are yours. That's it. Oh, you're a 38. No, you're a 46. So I'll get whatever. Put it on. It works the same. Here's your rifle. Be like King David. Do songs. The armor. Armor and sword. Yeah. But the armor wasn't for him, was it? Because God had special armor for him. Yes. Wow. But you got to pick it up. How do you pick up the armor? How do you learn to use it? Read your Bible. Bible. You read your Bible. You study. You get the Bible study. You study amongst yourselves. You learn to load it. You learn to fire it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you go out and fire it. Yeah, I thought it was crazy because I was a country boy. I got to go someplace. They gave me a rifle and they gave me the ammunition. I didn't have to pay for anything. And I got to shoot the silly thing. I got to shoot it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I thought it was great. I got to run in the sand. I thought it was Boy Scouts. I had a great time. He even gave me a little minute and said I was an expert. <laughs> I've been shooting rifle all my life. What are you talking about? And Uncle Sam paid for it. I said, man, what a great deal that is. I think I have to go play. You know, ammo's expensive. Yes. It costs Jesus everything. It costs Jesus everything. But he gave us us. 
that we could be more than conquerors through him. Amen. But we've got to pick it up and put it on and learn to use it. Ephesians 6, 13 says, or take up the whole armor. Take up the take, take up how much of it? The whole, whole armor. armor. So he didn't just take up pick up the helmet. Breastplate of righteousness. What that's talking about the truth. Listen to the truth. Where do you really get the truth in today's world? In the scripture. The God of the Bible, not the God of the culture. To take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having done all to stand. What's the exhortation? To stand. Stand for the Lord in the midst of this darkness. Shine in the midst of the midnight. Shine in the darkness. Dispel the darkness. Push back on the darkness. Wow. Stand therefore having girded yourself with truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Truth. What a rare commodity in today's world. Right. Truth. Real truth. Whom the Son has set free is. Free indeed. Free indeed. Free indeed. Wow. Having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith in which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts. Now the devil's been after me all week. Well, of course he is. You're a child of God. What are you supposed to do? You reflect him with the shield of faith. And you keep marching on. You keep taking ground for the Lord. Wow. Everything we've said so far is kind of defense. Be able to quench all the, and also taking up the shield of faith in which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation. Let this mind be in you which was in also in Christ Jesus. Get rid of your stinking thinking. Yes. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renewing of your mind. mind. And take up the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Now we've gone from defense to offense. to offense. Everything else has been defense to protect you. But then you're given the sword of the Spirit. But what do you do with the sword? Read it. In the sword that they talk about in the Bible, particularly Paul is talking about the Roman sword, which is a short sword, but it was unique. Because it was double-edged. And whichever way they swung it, it cut. It was high-intensity steel. As pure as they could make it in those days. And they were known for their ferocity. It was fast. It was quick. They learned to use it. And it is compared in the scripture in several places. The sword of the spirit is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah. Yeah. Even to divide the bone and the marrow. Wow. You have the power. You've been given the equipment. And you've been given the power to wield <coughs> it. To put it on and to use it. For God's glory. Wow. Everybody say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Taking the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer. And supplication in the spirit. Being watchful. To this end with all perseverance. And supplication. For all the saints. So God has given you everything. 
you need. We have the problem, it's pretty easy to see, the world's in a mess. It's twisted and perverted. We've been given a mission. We've been given the power. We've been given the equipment. Now it's time for us to rise up. I said it's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to rise up. Time for us to rise up. Play it again, sister. Stand with me. Get those lyrics out again. Sing it one more time. Everybody say, rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Everybody go and tell someone, rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Tell them about the love. So many hearts are broken. So many people in need. So many lost and lonely. Give us eyes to see. We've got a message of healing. bow your head for a moment and pray with me. Perhaps there's somebody here that doesn't even have a clue what I'm talking about. You're not sure of your relationship with Christ or with God. You're not sure if something was to happen to you that heaven would be your home. There's no reason to leave this place not knowing without a doubt that you're a child of the King. Jesus said, if you confess your sins, I'll be faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, thou shalt be saved. There's no reason to leave this place in doubt this morning. If you're not sure you're right with God, just say, Pastor, would you pray for me? Just raise your hand and say, Pastor, pray for me. I see those hands. 
Is there anybody else? Let us all pray together, if you would. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I believe, I believe. You, are the Christ. you are the Christ. You went to the cross, went to the cross. For, my for my redemption. You rose again, you rose again. For, my justification. for my justification. I invite you, I invite you to, come into my heart. to come into my heart. Be Lord and Master. Be Lord and Master. Forgive me. Me. Of, all my sins. of all my sins and I will, and I will serve, you serve you the rest of my life, the rest of my life. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen give him a hand <laughs> I'll see you in the back God bless you come and join us play it again sister Rise up, tell them all about what love has done. Rise